do not mount your GPU vertically ever. Anything electrical stressed out and sagging is a bad idea. Right there on the screen, bad idea. Don't care what anybody says. It's terrible, period. Thank you so much for stopping in to today's video. Be sure to subscribe, tap that bell notification if you haven't already so you know when I go live and check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey and be sure to tap that bell notification so you know when I go live over there as well for all the epic live game streams. Today's video, I wanna sit down and talk about something that's pretty important and I wanna share my knowledge of building computers with you guys. I did another video similar to this where I told you guys not to mount your AIO cooler on the bottom where the lines up and you know just telling you guys how to mount your AIO properly and how to not destroy it. I want to explain something at the beginning of this video so you guys understand. I've been building computers for 20 years and I've probably built over a thousand or 1200 computers at this point in my life and I know how to do this. It's a very fun thing for me. I'm a gamer, an avid streamer and gamer and I also love building PCs. I will tell you guys there's a lot of things that are misconceptions when building a computer. Hey, you know, I want to do this or I want to mount my GPU vertical or I want to do an AIO cooler. I'm just going to throw it in there. It doesn't make any damn bit of difference, but it does. It really does. And just like some people hate the RGB lighting in com computers, they want to build a PC with no RGB lighting. Other people do. You got different mixed emotions on every aspect of everything in life. There's always going to be opinions. Now, where the opinions stop and the facts begin, that is what I would like to talk about today. And that is, do not do this with your GPU. And that is vertical mounting. And not only that, there's another aspect of this, horizontal mounting improperly with a large GPU. So today's video has two aspects. Number one, it's obvious, do not mount your GPU vertically ever, unless you do one specific thing. Most people don't do this. And if you don't do it, then it's pointless and is actually very detrimental. We're going to talk about this. The second part of the video is if you're going to mount your GPU horizontally, do it the right way, specifically to video cards like the 3080, 2080 Ti, 3080 Ti, and 3090. You've got to do this proper, the 6800 XT as well, and 6900 XT. If you've got these video cards, they're massive. And since you're going to be mounting them horizontally for the most part, most people are, which is the better way to do it, you got to do it properly. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. First, let's start with vertical mounting your GPU. There are pros and cons to anything in life. So we're gonna look at the pros first of mounting your GPU vertically. If you don't know what GPU vertical mounting is, right there on the screen is a picture to show you. It looks great, right? Of course, it looks epic. Let's talk about the pros to mounting your GPU vertically, like as seen in the picture right there better aesthetics, specifically with RGB. You get the full look of the entire shroud of the GPU and all LEDs, and it looks marvelous and spectacular vertically mounted in the front of a case with glass. Now the cons to mounting your GPU vertically like this are, it's going to block the other slots on your PCI Express and motherboard, increased temperature, quite a bit of that. I've seen 18 to 20 degrees on my test of a vertical mount GPU, where it was 18 to 20 degrees Celsius hotter then horizontally mounted in the exact same conditions. You're also going to be increasing your cost to do this as you're going to need a PCI Express vertical mounted adapter cable or extension cable, which needs to be shielded and they're quite expensive. It can increase temperature and restrict airflow and it's very negative on your thermals. Of course, your GPU to deal with this is going to decrease your clock speeds, meaning you are going to lose performance. But remember, it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, of course. Is it really worth losing performance of your GPU to make it look better when the entire idea of buying a 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, 6800, 6900 XT is to make the performance better? Is that not the idea here? I mean, it really is. So you buy a car that's got great epic performance and then you degrade the performance to make it look better. It just really seems counterproductive to me. It's also going to decrease your GPU life. It's hard to say exactly how much, but I guarantee you if you're overheating and it's constantly throttling the clocks, you're eventually gonna have a dead GPU and much sooner than you would if you had mounted horizontally the correct way horizontally, might I add. Now there is one proper way to mount your GPU vertically. And that is if you get a very high-end shielded PCI Express vertical mount cable. And not only that, if you're under a complete water cooling source setup. If your PC is completely water cooled, if you're doing a complete custom build with RGB setup, 
vertical mount GPU and you get the best PCI Express cable you can get that's shielded and you're doing the best water cooling you can, then you can mount vertically, but that becomes extremely expensive. If you're doing water cooling, it's fine. If you're not, there is no benefit to it at all. I highly suggest and urge you to horizontally mount your GPU if you are on air. Now it's time to talk about the second aspect of this whole fiasco, and that is horizontal mounting. Of course, this is the better of the two because you're gonna have better airflow. Well, this is correct, but there is a downfall to mounting large GPUs horizontally, and that is SAG. When the video card is mounted horizontally, and I'm talking really specifically 3080, 3090, and 6800, 6900 XTs, these cards are huge and they're heavy. When you mount them horizontally and you don't know what you're doing or do it improperly, they sag. So I wanna talk about how to mount your video card horizontally, properly with a support bracket. If you don't have a 3080, 3090, 6800, 6900 XT, 2080 Ti, or any of the super cards that are extra long, you're fine and you really don't need one but you still could get one as it's added insurance. Now, I know that cards do sag, and there's a lot of people that say, hey, you know, it's not gonna damage the motherboard or the card. The card is designed this way, and as long as you mount it properly, you're not gonna have any issues with the sag. Why would you wanna risk damaging a $400 motherboard and a $800,000 GPU when you can get a mounting support bracket for only about $15? It makes no sense not to do it. If you're gonna spend even 500 on a video card and 300 on a motherboard or even 200 on a motherboard, why would you not spend 15 bucks for a support bracket? It makes no sense, which is why I say if you have a large video card, it's completely a no-brainer to buy a support bracket. It's not like these support brackets are 150 bucks. They're 15 to 20 dollars. Added insurance. When it comes to an electrical component, I don't really care what anybody says. Sagging and all that weight hanging on one end, not healthy at all. It's very bad. People can make videos all day long giving you guys reasons why it doesn't really matter and nothing's gonna happen. Anything electrical stressed out and sagging is a bad idea. Right there on the screen, bad idea. Don't care what anybody says. It's terrible, period. Nothing lasts forever. Still not a very smart idea to spend that kind of money on a video card and not spend $15 for added insurance. Think about it. Your PC bill was what? $1,500? $2,500? You can't spend $20 to secure your GPU properly. I'm really not even open to discussing not doing a GPU bracket as it's a very silly idea not to get one, especially for the video cards that I mentioned, 3080, 3070 Super, 3090, and the 6800 and up cards, even the 2080 Ti's. You do not want to mount horizontally without a bracket. I'm going to show you what the horizontal mounting on my PC looks like. I also did a video on this before and show you guys how to properly mount your air-cooled GPU horizontally with a support. It is the biggest added insurance to your video card you really can give. It supports the GPU, so it's 100% perfectly straight. You don't stress the PCI Express connector. You don't stress your cables. You don't sag the board on the video card. You're pretty much guaranteeing yourself zero problems, zero. Is it not really worth spending $20 or less to secure your computer and your GPU specifically and motherboard so you don't have any problems at all? I think it's worth it. People spend hundreds of dollars a month on car insurance. I sound like a Geico commercial over here. Save 15% or more on your car insurance. I mean, let's get realistic here. You guys spend two to three grand a year on car insurance and nothing happens, right? You're spending 20 bucks to insure a two, three, four thousand dollar machine to guarantee nothing gets damaged. It's a very, very important thing here, guys. I'm also gonna show you where you can get this GPU support bracket. The link is gonna be in the information box below. Definitely check that link out. The best $15, $16 I ever spent on building a computer has been these brackets that I've been purchasing for quite some time. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Really appreciate you guys stopping. And be sure to check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey. Tap the bell and follow. But that's gonna do it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace and love for you. Be sure to subscribe, tap that bell so you know when I go live or post new videos. We'll see you guys on the next epic upload or live stream or on Twitch. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.